Hey everyone, welcome back to Geek Kong. In today's video, it's all about... <laughs> Let's do this! Here we have the Friday the 13th Camp Crystal Lake accessory set by NECA. Camp Crystal Lake summer events, activities, sign up. Create your own chilling dioramas with this Friday the 13th accessory set. It's full of iconic pieces and sized perfectly for 7 inch scale figures sold separately. Set includes Camp Crystal Lake sign, dock base, rock and sign base with chain attached a figure to recreate Jason floating at the bottom of the lake. Figures sold separately, some assembly required. Cabins need to be cleaned tonight. Archery, 10 o'clock. Swim lessons, 12 p.m. Please check all life vests. All that was written on the back of this box. All right, let's take a look at all the pieces it comes with. There's a piece of the dock. Here is the rock and sign with the chain attached. That looks pretty cool, but it looks like it should be attached to the rock and somehow it must have came loose. I guess I'll have to figure that one out. But overall, the detail looks pretty good. Here is the iconic Camp Crystal Lake sign. Absolutely love that. Here is the lamp post. That looks pretty good. Actually, it looks really good. Here is a smaller light. This must go with the sign. The, um, the lights seem kind of fragile, so I definitely want to be careful with that. This clear piece must go for the underwater part and those must be the legs for the dock. All right, let's put the sign and the post together. I really like these clear pieces for the bottom of these posts because it definitely makes it much easier to stand. Look at that. That's pretty cool. All right, let's slip this piece in. It looks like it only goes one way. There you go. Not too bad. I might put some hot glue sometime to make it a little bit more permanent. Because it seems like this could fall apart pretty easy. Who am I fooling? I just want to use some hot glue. Let's put the sign up. The sign fits perfectly in that hook. Just like that. And the other one lines up really good. Yeah, that looks fantastic. I just wish those lights lit up. That'd be great. Alright, let's put the dock and light post together. And the pilings. Yeah, I had to look it up. The legs of a dock are called pilings. Now the pilings don't snap in. They are a little flimsy, so I might have to add some hot glue in there. But they do look pretty good. I mean, this whole set was, I think, 35 bucks. It is it is a little fragile, seems, but it looks good. So just as long as you don't, like, bang it around too much, I think it'll be pretty good. <laughs> oh. Mad. Gotta get that hot glue out. Yes, this happened several times making this video. But I gotta say, it does look pretty cool. I just wish there was a way to put an LED light in that light post. I think that would be fantastic. What's cool about this set is you could use it for anything. You don't have to use it for Friday the 13th. You could use it for G.I. Joe's. Or Star Wars, Marvel, anything. I think it looks pretty good. Alright, let's put the rock and welcome to Camp Blood. I love how they have Camp Blood written on that sign. That is pretty cool. Looks pretty good. I like the detail of the rock, but the chains, they're not attached. They must have came loose during shipping or something. It does have a lock on the top of the chains, which is pretty cool. And this chain here has a, a slot that goes right there in the rock. So that's pretty cool. I like how they did that. So you can remove it and attach it to the figure and then attach it to the rock. It makes it a little bit easier assembling this whole set. But let's put this clear piece, attach it to the rock. It is a pretty tight fit and I am crossing my fingers those posts don't break 
But yeah, I think it's gonna work. It's gonna look pretty good, but let's see if I can attach this chain a little bit better. It does look like there's little hooks on the bottom of this rock where I can kind of slide that that link of the chain underneath there. Just like that. Yeah, perfect. That looks good. It looks like there's another hook right here that I can attach this chain link to. Or is there one in the back? Let's see if this will click in. Yeah, I think it can... Yeah, it looks good. Yeah, that'll work. Here's all the sets together, and I think they look really good. But you know what we need? We need a Jason figure to put with these sets. So, oh, this figure worked great. That That's from part three, I do believe. And here are a few other figures. We have five other Jasons to choose from. So let's check them out. We have part two and part five in the box, and I believe that's a part three. I'm not sure if that's a NECA figure. Here we have another version of part five and part six and part seven of Friday the 13th. So the Jason to go with this set is actually from part six. That's when Tommy, adult Tommy, puts a chain around Jason's neck and drops the rock down the bottom of Camp... I think that was Camp Crystal Lake. I would assume it would be, right? But they don't always take place at a campground, which is kind of strange, I guess, but this Jason looks pretty cool. And I like the way they have this attached, so that little shovel piece, I guess you want to call it, like, it just goes right behind his shirt. And he just hangs there. Look at how cool that looks. I like it that it's not like a a waist hook, oh, I guess you want to call it, like wrap around the waist. I like how it tucks underneath the, the back of the shirt and it just hangs there. Look at how cool that looks. It just fits perfectly. Chain looks good. Um, it might be a little short. I don't know what I have to do there. Maybe snug it down a little bit behind his shirt a little bit more or something. But I mean, I'm just going to adjust his arms and just his legs so it looks like he's kind of floating because I guess if you're floating your legs aren't going to be totally stiff right they're going to be kind of like bent a little bit like your elbows too yeah I think that looks fantastic look at that yeah that looks really cool we're definitely going to have some fun with the green screen later on Next up is the Camp Crystal Lake sign, but we're going to get Roy. Who remembers Roy from part five? Oh, man, that like fooled us all. We all thought it was Jason, but it wasn't. It was actually the ambulance driver. Spoiler alert. Sorry if you haven't seen it. But all right, let's uh, let's try a different Jason. We're going to put a campfire there and let's get part two Jason. Yeah, this is probably my favorite Jason. I love uh the potato sack or the pillowcase Jason. That looks cool. So you should probably use part three Jason for this set, but we're gonna try the second version of Jason from part five with this set. Definitely not the one with the worms coming out of the face. We're gonna change the head because this comes with alternate heads, which is really good. This Jason looks pretty good. I mean, it's a wet look Jason. So that's not too bad for the dock. I think that'll work pretty well. And again, I get to get some of that hot glue. Oh, man. I tell you, hot glue works the best for anything because it's not permanent. But yeah, I like this, Jason. This looks pretty cool. Again, it's a wet look, Jason. So it's not my favorite figure out of the bunch. I do like the this, Jason. <laughs> look at that. Now, that is the creepy Jason. That is definitely from part three. Although, it could be from part four, too, right? I think they kind of had the same face. Part three and four. But yeah, I just need the spear. I don't have the spear with this Jason. Again, this is one of my older figures. I just have the axe. And actually, the hockey mask doesn't fit too well on this guy, either. But it still looks cool, right? Look at that. How fun is that? I mean, that's the Jason that'll give you nightmares. All right, here's all the sets put together. Let's add some Jason. 
<laughs> oh man, it looks so cool. I love it. There's part two, Jason, next to Camp Crystal Lake sign. Part six and part five. Yeah, I love it. I know what you were asking. What does Sergeant Slaughter look like with this set? Now, Sergeant Slaughter is six inches, Jason seven. I think he looks fantastic, but one question I want to know, how long can you hold your breath, Sarge? Well, that was pretty fun. But what do you say? Let's check out this green screen. Let's do this. So overall, I think the set is fantastic. It looks great with my Friday the 13th display here. You can set it up how you want. You can even use G.I. Joe, Star Wars, whatever you want. I think it's awesome. But I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, smash that like button, subscribe to the channel. Do all that good stuff. Remember, we are all Geek Strong. Take care, everyone.